Hey, Agent. Thanks for checking out this video. I just wanted to shoot this quick video about a Gmail phishing attack that's uh, occurring or may have occurred, um, and certainly occurring with a lot of success. So I figured I'd want to spread the word to warn people. Uh, the way that it works is that um, essentially what happened is, is that they're going to send an email to your Gmail account. And this email is going to probably come from someone you know. It's going to have an attachment or something similar. Um, and you're going to want to, the, somehow the message is going to, and the verbiage within, within the message is going to be, hey, take a look at this picture or click on this image or whatever. Now, the moment you click on that image, you're going to be taken to what looks like a, a legitimate sign-in screen again. Now, off quick glance, you were just in Gmail and um, you're taken to this screen, which is also, hey, this is Google. I look up in the browser real quick. I see accounts.google.com. Hey, I must be good. This is fine. Let me enter in my name, uh, my, my email. Let me enter in my password. I'm good. Now, uh, the problem with that is this, the moment you sign in is that your account has now been compromised. They're going to log in. They're going to they're take your credentials. They're going to uh, probably go through a bunch of attachments you've gotten, a bunch of contact lists, you know, your contact list. They're going to do the self same thing to people on your contact list, reaching out to them, coming from your email, um, and they're going to have attachments again. So hopefully those people will click on the attachments, sign into their Gmail, and on and on and on the attack goes. Of course, once they have your credentials, they're able to um, compromise a whole bunch of other a whole bunch of other uh, wide variety of other services actually and it gets really really messy now the thing is off quick glance uh, again you see uh, accounts.google.com and everything seems legitimate but whenever you see anything in front of the HTTPS always 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 have a, um, a red flag put up and also in this particular attack there's a whole bunch of white space after the URL immediate you know the first part of the URL and then there's this whole script text that, that occurs um, further along. So both of those, from the, the text here to um, this here that's in front of the HTTPS, is all, 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 and always a um, sign of a problem. You never want to see that. Um, what you want to see is you want to see the one, the only, secure, and HTTPS, the lock, you want to see that all in green or whatever color it is. It may be at the time of you watching um, this video. You want to see that um, that's secure. Then you know you're at an, a legitimate, authentic Google service uh, site. So if you're not paying attention to that and, um, you know, it, it can really catch you off guard um, and it's happening with a high success rate. So what do you do? What do you do? What's going on? You know, if you don't have time to, to check it out, it, what you can set up, and maybe you don't have time to check URL, URL addresses and all this and that. You can set up actually a two-step verification. Obviously, all Google services come with a one step, which is your username and passcode. You can add an extra layer of security by adding in a two-step verification here. This particular example, you don't have to do this, but one of the ways you can add a two-step is by having your phone text with a uh, number, that a verification code that you got to enter in in order to sign into Gmail. Obviously, if you think about it, if a user, if a, a, a hacker, attacker, the phishing program gets a hold of username and password, they're not going to have your phone as well. Um, so chances they better not have your phone. So um, this is one second step of verification you can do. There are a few others. The way that you can set up the two-step verification is to go into your uh, Google account. So you can sign into your Gmail or any other Google service and then just search for Google account and look for sign in and authentication, something similar to that, something in the security settings and look for two-step verification or just Google two-step verification, uh, Gmail two-step verification, Google, and um, you should be taken to the search results that have some sort of uh, website that will take you right to where you can set all this up and just set up a second step, a second layer of protection so you don't have to think about it. Again, this is just an example where I, I will be text every single time um, that uh, I want to sign into Gmail. Now, of course, they give you the option down here as well. Don't ask again on this computer or don't ask again on this device so that you can have a safe list of devices so that you don't have to have this happen. But um, this is a great way to protect your against protect yourself against this uh, phishing attack just figured i put this video, video together if it's helped you like comment share it spread the word and uh, let let others know about this sort of attack so again thanks so much for watching and have a great day